Hello guys, Prob2010 with you today and welcome to another Sony Vegas tutorial. Now, I thought I made this tutorial before, but apparently I didn't, so here it is. I should have made this a long time ago. But in this tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to add transitions and fades onto your videos. And we'll be starting right now. So let me just import a video into our project media section and drag and drop that into the Sony Vegas timeline. I mean, let me just trim it up in a few places so that we can see how the effect can be applied in different uh, kinds of ways. And that's all we're going to be needing. So, some videos start off with a, with a transition already, such as a flash or an iris effect or some sort of that, uh, that kind of effect. So, we're going to be doing that for this demonstration. So, if you already know how to create fades, then this tutorial should be very simple for you. If you don't, then this tutorial should be very simple for you. So, to create a fade, all you gotta do is you just gotta drag your mouse on the upper left hand corner or on the upper right hand corner if you wanna fade out, or if you wanna fade something in, you do it on the upper left hand corner. This is gonna bring it from down to up, and if you do it on this side, then it obviously goes from up to down, which means it's fading out. Same thing works with the audio, although you can't add transitions to the audio, but the fade aspect is the same exact thing. So, getting that out of the way, let's go ahead and switch to our transitions tab. If you don't have a transitions tab down here, you want to go to view and you want to select transitions or press alt 7 on your keyboard which will do the same exact thing. So once you have that taken care of, go to the transitions tab and here is the list of effects and transitions that Sony Vegas provides for their users. So here we have clock wipe and just by hovering our mouse over the different types of effects we can see the demonstration in this little window here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a flash effect which usually can be seen in music videos in the beginning or maybe during the music video and it just kind of gives it a cool effect. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here to the beginning and fade it inwards. Now when you fade you can see down here you can see how the time changes and what that time is is how many seconds or how many milliseconds the transition lasts for. So this is going to be one whole second right here. So this fade will last for one one thousand. See? for one whole second, one Mississippi, or whatever you say. So, what we're gonna do is, all we gotta do is drag and drop our transition on top of our fade, and there we go. You just exit this out, and press play, and we can see that our, our effect, or our transition, is just as long as the effect, just as long as the fade. So if you wanna shorten it down a bit, the fade offset, just lower that, and it's gonna occur faster, and if we bring this up more, it's going to take longer for the transition to happen. Now, if you want to create a transition between two different videos, all you have to do is grab the second video and overlay it with the first video. And you can see also the timing that happens right here in the middle. It's 0.21 seconds. Or, I don't know how this timing thing works, but this is one whole second. So if we want this transition between these two videos to occur, to take it one whole second for the transition to occur, all we do is go to our transitions tab, find a, find a transition that we want. I'll select iris just so it would be more noticeable. Drag and drop that on top of our crossfade. And if you want to make any changes here, you can do so. And then when we play this, you can see how this effect takes action in the video. So that's pretty much how you create effects and not of transitions inside of Sony Vegas. I hope this tutorial was helpful to you guys. If you have any questions, post them in the comment sections below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for more tutorials.